bed almost everywhere. The following is a presentation of high school basketball on the Hometown Family Radio Sports Network, True Country 1021 and online 1021kzmc.com is being brought to you in part by Amateurs Bar and Grill, Friday Truck and Trailer, Cambridge Body Shop and DLM Trailer Sales, Cambridge Supermarket, Channel Seeds, Andrew Carpenter, Cope Family Dentistry, Grabelli Physical Therapy, Cross Creek Golf Links, Doyle Auto Repair in McCook, First State Bank of Cambridge, First State Insurance of Cambridge, Ogemeyer Seeds, Troy Wiestat, Honeyman Custom Harvesting, Lifetime Eye Care, Lockenauer Jones Mortuary, Mark's Pharmacy and Shirley Kay's Coffee Shop, Nebraska Corn Processing, River Valley Services, Southwest Farm and Auto, Stockman's Bank, Tri-Valley Health System, Tri-Valley Medical Foundation, Waypoint Bank of Cambridge, Western Select Genetics, Advanced Automotive Parts and Repair, Gary Superfoods, Hometown Agency, San Mangro Yard, Sontown Sun Dreams, Southwest Public Power District, Susie's Creative Stitches, TKO Pest Control, Walgreens Supermarket, and Juanita Crossroads, and Western Select Genetics. Now, with the start of game day coverage, here's Trent Florum. Welcome once again to the Taco John's pregame show here on True Country Radio, 1021 KZMC. I am Trent Florum, and Chase Shifflett will join me again shortly as we bring you high school boys basketball between the Cambridge Trojans and the Juanita Palisade Broncos. The Broncos are looking to rebuild off of the last season's 3-20 and record. They lost their leading score from last year, but have a lot of young players that they are looking to step up to and fill that void. They also have a new head coach in Jacob Pritchard. The Broncos lost in their season opener to the Wallace Wildcats 51-24. to the Trojans are 1-0 on the season and took on the Hitchcock County Falcons in last night's season opener. The Trojans got off to a slow start and fell behind 13-5 after the first quarter. The Falcons' offense got hot in the second quarter and they outscored the Trojans 17-12 to lead 30-17 at the half. The Trojans finally got rolling in the third quarter as they outscored the Falcons 14-10 to to make it Hitchcock County 40, Cambridge 31, heading into the final stanza. The fourth period would be all Trojans, but with time winding down, the Falcons missed two free throws, and the Trojans had one final shot as they trailed by two. Derek Tromke attempted a three from the corner, but missed, only to see Zach MacArthur get the rebound and heave a prayer to the basket as the buzzer sounded. It would go in, and the game would go to overtime. Overtime would be a back-and-forth battle, and the Falcons led by one with time running down once again. Zach MacArthur had the ball for the Trojans with 17 seconds left. He was up top left side, made a jab step to the baseline, and then drove the middle of the lane and hit the shot to put the Trojans up by one. The Falcons hustled down the floor and tried to get a shot off, but missed, and the final score would be Cambridge 58, Hitchcock County 57 in overtime. Derek Tromke led the Trojans with 19 points, and T.J. Feeney added 18 of his own to be one of two of our amateurs bar and grill players of the game, while Zach MacArthur added six points, none bigger than the game-tying and game-winning baskets uh, for the Trojans. He would get the other amateurs bar and grill player of the game. These two teams met last year with Cambridge winning 50 to 24. We're going to take a quick break, and when we come back to the Taco John's pregame show, we will hear what Cambridge Trojan head coach Clay Shepard had to say about last night's thrilling victory and all the actions right here on True Country Radio, 1021 KZMC. Now serving at Sod Town Sundries, crispy, crunchy chicken. They have Cajun chicken tenders, fried chicken, mac and cheese, fresh honey biscuits, and so much more. Looking for breakfast? They serve that too from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Lunch and dinner is served from 10 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. Come get your crispy, crunchy chicken at Sod Town Sundries and Palisade. They've got a little bit of everything. Sandman Growyard is a proud supporter of the Juanita Palisade Broncos. 
They graciously support these student athletes on the court and in the classroom. Sandman Growyard is excited to cheer on the Broncos this sports season. They celebrate all successes and achievement of the Juanita Palisade Broncos. Sandman Growyard, a custom backgrounding feedlot. For more information, call 308-394-5123. Remember, it's a great day to be a Bronco. When the hurt can't wait, can't wait. we're there. Quality, urgent care. Midwesterners have a certain way of life that people outside the Midwest don't quite understand. But at Quality Urgent Care, every single one of our providers is Nebraska born and raised, giving you the best service possible by the best people possible who understand our way of living. Can't wait. Can't wait. We're there. Quality, urgent care. Let's sit down with the head coach. This is Taco John's Courtside. And as I said, I'm Trent Foreman. I'm joined now by Cambridge Trojan head coach Clay Shepard. And, Coach, you got to be ecstatic with, with that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was pretty fun. Uh, I, I don't know if fun was the word I was using about 45 minutes ago, but it, it became really fun there at the end. Well, you guys um, kind of struggled in that first half to put points on the board. Only scored 17 points in that first half. Uh, but you, you warmed up. You had five in the first quarter, 12 in the second. Then you came out the second half, 14 and and, uh, and 20, and then five more, or uh, excuse me, seven more in the overtime period. So yeah, kind they, of warmed up there. They, they had a great game plan. We knew they would. Coach Rath is obviously a great coach. Um, he just he, he gets, he does a lot with what he has every year. Um, just, you know, we, we knew they were going to have a good game plan. I didn't see the 3-2 coming. I probably should have. We hadn't worked on a 3-2 off. And, uh, I'm going to admit that we were, we were ill-prepared for this game. I'm going to take a lot of that. Um, and that's what was wrong in that first half. But, uh, it, you know, and it didn't really come down to any strategic to switches. Some, it, was, it was just guys making plays. CJ um, kind of like put the team on his back there, there and, until he fouled out. And then <laughs> Zach MacArthur, a kid who, you know, me and you talked about, you know, Carson's been playing really good basketball. So Carson kind of took that point guard role this year. But Zach never let that phase him. And he, he came up with, you know, probably the two biggest plays of the game there at the end. Um, just so, 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 so proud of these guys. Um, they, you know, if people knew the work that they put in the last 12 months to go from, I think it was 30 to 41 here last yes. year. Um, and then, you know, come out with that kind of first half and not get down. Um, they're, they're problem solvers. They see a problem and they, they, they find a way to fix it. Well, um, that's what we did tonight. Not only the first half, but you were down, I don't know if you realize this, uh, 14 twice there in the, in the third period. Yeah, it, it just seemed like, you know, for a while there, every, you know, we go on a 4 0 run or we go on a 6 0 run and then, uh, you know, uh, Kisker would get a layup and an and one or Huddle would, you know, get an open three and knock it down or one of the guards, um, Gaston would come in and hit a three. Um, and, you know, I, I just kept telling, you know, we're, we're doing the right things. We, we just got to clear up, you know, clean up a few things. Um, and the, the boys did that. Um, the rebounding all of a sudden flipped. And when we get clean rebounds, we can run. Um, that helped us a ton, kind of beat their zone back a little bit. Um, but, yeah, it was just just an incredible game, opening night. Um, I, I hope, the, hope the fans enjoyed it because I enjoyed about two minutes of it there at the end. Well, I, I can tell you there was a broadcaster that enjoyed a lot of it <laughs> here talking. So, uh, now, what a great game. Though. And Derek Trompke also did a great job for you tonight. Uh, he was your leading scorer with 19 points since CJ yeah. fouled out there with 18. Yeah. But uh, Derek Trompke kind of took over the overtime He's, right off the bat. He, he, he is one of those kids who's just a problem solver. His shot wasn't falling, and he came into the locker room and said, well, I guess I figured out how to make layups. And he, he did. He, he hit a few shots, which opened up the drive, and he, he got to the hoop and finished. But that's a, just another – I mean, all these kids. But that, that kid has put in so much work in the last 12 months. It, it's absolutely unbelievable. He wants it so bad, um, and, it, you know, it shows on a night like this. And he's another one that the confidence doesn't falter. He, like you said, he'd only hit one <laughs> well, three out of about six, and then yeah. he gets into overtime, first shot of the overtime, boom, hits yeah. a three. No, you never have to worry about confidence with those Trompy kids. They, they, <laughs> they like putting that ball up there. But that's what we need them to do. And, that, you know, and they, they know that the reason their confidence doesn't falter is because they've shot so many threes in practice, 6 a.m. coming in the gym. And so they know the next one's going in. They aren't worried about it. If they're one for six, they know the percentages are going to even out. They're going to end up at 50%. Um, so I don't, I'm talking too much. I'm, I'm excited. No, you're, you're doing great, Coach. That's what we love is an excited coach <laughs> yeah. after the ball game. 
So tomorrow night, Juanita Palisade Broncos coming to town. Your home opener. Uh, don't know if you can beat this one tonight. But what tells? <laughs> talk to us about Juanita. Um, what you know about? You know, how do you get to uh, that? Probably it's going to be a, probably a similar game where they're, they're probably going to play some zone defense. Um, they have a new coach, you know, kind of trying to flip the culture as they got some younger guys coming up who they really like. Um, so they, they have Hannah coming back who averaged eight points a game last year. Um, he kind of played second fiddle to McKinney, but he, the kid can put the ball in the hoop, and we're, we're going to have to have a really good defensive effort on him. Um, offensively, it's going to be a little bit like tonight. We're going to have a size advantage. We'll probably have a size advantage every game this year. Um, so we, we got to look to attack the boards, attack the glass, um, and then you know probably you know shore up some of those things that we struggled with in the first half on offense. Um, it's always always nice not having to practice after a game like that, <laughs> so we can't can't put anything new in. But we just we're going to have to be ready to go. We're going to have to match their intensity. Like I said, you know you, you get a new coach, everybody's excited, um, and so we'll we'll see what they bring to the table. Obviously. It'll probably be a little different than last year, um, but we're we're excited to get right back at it and get in front of the home crowd tomorrow night. It, it kind of felt like a home game here tonight towards the end, but it, it'll be nice to be shooting on the same baskets we've been shooting on for the last nine months. So, well, coach, thanks for taking the time to come up and visit with this great win tonight, and good luck tomorrow night against Juanita Palisade. Thanks, Trent. That was Cambridge Trojan head coach Clay Shepard. We're going to take a quick break right after this on True Country Radio, 1021 KZMC. As spring nears and the bugs, insects, and other creatures break their hibernation, call TKO Pest Control in Palisade. They specialize in grain fumigation, rodent control, termites, and general commercial and residential spraying. Be sure to call Kenny at 308-285-3293 today. That's 308-285-3293. TKO. KO Pest Control is a proud supporter of the Juanita Palisade Athletic and Academic Programs. MNB, that means it did it from Bison fans, show your big red pride and support McCook Public Schools with an MNB Bison debit card. Every time you sign with the Bison debit card, MNB will donate to McCook Public Schools on your behalf. Make a difference for your school and put the big red Bison debit card in your wallet today. Call, click, or stop by your local MNB to learn more. MNB Bank, member FDIC. As a producer of ethanol and wet distillers grains with solubles, Nebraska Corn Processing strives to support agriculture through purchasing corn and providing feed to area livestock producers. And with their newly developed freight division, they're now able to meet even more of your needs. NCP's goal is to develop renewable energy resources that will benefit their customers, agriculture, and the communities in which they reside. Contact them today at 877-419-8438 for more information. And visit NebraskaCornProcessing.com to sign up for daily grain bids. Always use gasoline that contains at least 10% ethanol. A member of the Hometown Family Radio Sports Network on KZMC. It's True Country 1021. Access granted. High school basketball is on the air. Let's go courtside. Here's Trent Florham. True Country Radio 101 KZMC. Trent Florham back here with you along with Chase Shipman. Also got Autumn Quint back at the studio. Uh, one score to pass along to you here tonight. Uh, Paxton defeats Medicine Valley in girls basketball by a final score of 43 to 40 in overtime. Thanks to Danielle Forsyth for sending me the score from that one. And we'll also uh, we'll see if we can get uh, Seth Bomber to uh, send us a score here from his ball game. I'm trying to remember where he's at tonight. Uh, he is at uh, what, Maywood Hay Center and. Yeah, I can't remember where he's at. Trying to find it here. I know he sent me a text last night telling me where he was at. So, well, we'll figure it out here in a little bit. Right now we got the Cambridge Trojans, Juanita Palisade, Broncos boys basketball going on. The Broncos uh, took on Wallace last night, losing that ball game 51-24. to Was there a 50-24? to I believe it was the final score. No, 51-24. Or 54-21. Can't remember now. <laughs> oh, my mind's going crazy. You're throwing numbers out there now. I am. Yep, we're just it's 54-21 was the final score. So the Trojans last night they took on the Hitchcock County Falcons. They got an exciting, thrilling win in overtime. Zach MacArthur hit a big shot with the at the buzzer to tie the game at 51 apiece, and then uh, he also hit the game winner in overtime. Drove the lane with seven seconds left, put the shot up, and took the Trojans to victory, 58 to 57. MCJ Feeney and Derek Tromke were our amateur bar and grill players of the game. Tromke had 19 points to lead the Trojans. 
But C.J. Feeney was the one that basically brought them back. They were down 14 points, and C.J. Feeney went nuts in the second half, put up uh, 14 points in the second half, scored 18 total, uh, put up 14 in the second half, and uh, kind of carried the team back and then uh, gave Zach MacArthur the opportunity to make them shots that he did to win the ball game. So should be an exciting ball game here tonight. These two teams met last year with the Trojans getting the win 50-24. to 24. That's where I got the 50-24 to 24 hat. They won the game last year 50-24. to 24. So about two and a half minutes away from the opening tip-off. Let's take a break. We'll be back here to wrap things up on the Taco John's pregame show. Give you your starters and get ready for the opening tip-off. And all the action's right here on True Country Radio, 1021 KZMC. When a medical emergency hits close to home, you need an excellent hospital that's close to home. That's why I'm donating to the hospital fundraising. Your tax-deductible gift to the hospital helps pay for new equipment, capital improvements, and special programs that can improve health care for all of us right here close to home. Call us and share the gift of health. Tri-Valley Medical Foundation, sharing the gift of health. When you're in Juanita, be sure to visit all the great local merchants, especially your local Walgreens supermarket. Here you'll discover high-quality groceries and fresh produce, courtesy of AWG and Premier Wholesale Providers. And, of course, Walgreens First Class Meat Department features custom cuts that you'll want for your next gathering or for that special dinner for two. When in Juanita, shop Walgreens Supermarket and experience small-town shopping at its finest. The staff at River Valley Services in Cambridge is ready to take care of all your refrigeration, plumbing, HVAC, electrical, and trenching jobs. You see, whether it's at work, on the farm, or at home, there is no job too big or too small. These boys can do it all. River Valley Services are available 7 a.m. till 4, but that doesn't mean they won't handle your emergency at a moment's notice. River Valley Services, call 308-697-4815. That's 308-697-4815. 6 Your Country Radio, 1021 KZMC, Trent Form, Chase Shifflet, back here with you, along with Autumn Quint, back to the studios in McCook. We're live here from Cambridge to bring you the Juanita Palisade Broncos and the Cambridge Trojan. Here's your starting lineup tonight. High blood pressure in the United States is a major problem. 70 million American adults have high blood pressure. Mark's Pharmacy can help you know your number with a quality blood pressure machine in the home to help get accurate results that are sent directly to your doctor. Contact Mark's Pharmacy to learn more and know your number down here tonight, starting in lineups. First of all, for the visiting Juanita Palisade Broncos, once again, no heights on these guys. Just uh, numbers in school or number in grade for them. Uh, number 13, Kyle Juton, a junior. Number 15, Ra- Raul Malcolm, a senior. Number 20, Robert Hanna, a senior. Number 23, Grant Walker, a senior. And number 34, Aiden Kinnicutt, a senior for the Broncos. For the uh, Broncos, are head coach, by, uh, Jacob Pritchard, assistant coach, John Kershaw. Uh, the Trojans have number 11, a six-foot sophomore, Carson Tromke. Number 12, a 6'2", junior, Will Taylor. Number 15, a 5'11", senior, Derek Tromke. Number 23, a 6'4", senior, C.J. Feeney. And number 31, a 6'6", senior, Dalton Wood. Uh, head coach, Clay Shepard, assistant coach, Bronson Wood. And, Chase, this is going to be a game again where the Trojans have a definite height advantage. Everybody on their team is 5'11", or starters are 5'11", or taller. They got the height advantage. (laughs) Dalton Wood and number 15, Raul Malcolm, going to jump it up. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) Dalton is bent down. And they're they're, ready to jump, and they're the same size. And they're the same height. (laughs) Carson Tropke controls the tip here for the Trojans. Brings it across the timeline. Crowds is going left to right across the radio. Now Feeney with it right side up high. Gets it down to Derek Tromke in the corner. Goes inside to Dalton Wood. Wood, power move. Pooch puts it up and in off the glass. Two points for Dalton Wood. The Trojans get the first points of the night. Here comes Robert Hanna. Left side it goes to number 15, Malcolm. He'll drive inside, loses the ball. Dalton Wood picks it up. Kicks it out to Carson Tromke on the outlet. Trojans on the run. Skip pass over to Derek Trompe, a three from the corner. It's on the way. It's off the back of the rim. Won't go. Dalton Wood tips it out to C.J. Feeney. Keeps it alive. Feeney down the lane, lays it up. Can't get it to go. And Wood got shoved underneath, and the referee missed that one. Here they come down the floor, and a steal by Derek Trompe. Pass tried to go to the corner. 
from Hannah, but Trompke was right there. Derek Trompke, left side, it goes to Carson Trompke. Looking inside for Dalton Woody's double teamed. He's going to be on the floor. It's going to be a jump ball. Going to belong to the Broncos. I think Cambridge is just trying to get too fast right now. Just slow it down just a little bit. Robert Hanna going to bring it up for the Broncos. Comes to the left side. And now he's going to drive back to the middle. Gets the top of the key. Hands it off to uh, number 15. That's Malcolm. Back to number 13, Jute. And he's going to drive inside up against Dalton Wood. Missed a shot. Wood with the rebound. Pretty tough to shoot over a 6'6 <laughs> guy when you're not 6'6. C.J. Feeney gets down in the short corner. Drives baseline. Lays it towards the basket. He's going to be fouled. Shot didn't go in, but he's going to go to the line for two. The first foul tonight is going to be long to the Broncos, I believe. It's number 34. Aiden Kinnicott. And that's who it is. Aiden Kinnicott picks up the first foul tonight. And C.J. Feeney will go to the line to shoot two. They only shot four free throws all last night. And still one in overtime. Feeney, first one, rolls around, won't go. Hit the back of the rim, rolled up, came back onto the back of the rim, then fell off. I'd like to thank some more of our sponsors. We have Mid Plains Community College, MNB Bank, Nebraska Corn Processing, Quality Urgent Care, Red Willow Chemical, and River Valley Services. Feeney, second one's on the way, swishes it. His first point of the night, and the Trojans lead it three to nothing. Anna, top of the key, right side it goes at Malcolm. Does it go down the lane, puts a shot up, won't go. CJ Feeney with the rebound. Trojans on the run now. Feeney, double team, gets through it. And then loses the ball. It's picked up by Malcolm, and now Feeney's going to get called for the foul. Tried to steal it back, got called for the foul. I need a Broncos fan standing. They'll stand until the first point scored for the Broncos. Anna's going to bring it up once again for Juanita Palisade. We're in the all-red uniforms, white numbers. Trojans in the all-white with the black numbers. Malcolm. Now with the ball. Look at top key double team. Wow. Throws it away. Gets it to <laughs> Hannah. Hannah guarded by Will Taylor now. Kicks it back to Malcolm. Malcolm loses the ball, but Hannah scoops it up. Hannah gets to the free throw line. Back to Malcolm at the elbow. You're inside. Dalton Wood at the block. <laughs> Will Taylor comes down with the loose ball. Kicks it out to Carson Trompy. Trojans on the run. Back to Will Taylor. Taylor makes a move. Kicks it back out to Carson Trompy. Up top, right side high. Gets it back to Feeney on the wing here on the right. Gets it inside to Dalton Wood. Spin move, middle lane. Kicks it back out to Feeney. Feeney. Jump step in the middle lane and comes down, and they're going to call a travel on him. Came down on the foot of a Juanita Palisade Bronco on that jump stop. Lost his balance, get called for the travel. All right, good thing he didn't come up limping on yes. that. He looked like he could have rolled an ankle pretty easy. And he doesn't wear high tops either. Hannah driving inside, goes up against Dalton Woods. <laughs> no. Not in here. Not in my house tonight. Here's Tromke with it now for the Trojan. Gets it back out to C.J. Feeney. Feeney, nice move inside, lays it up off the glass and in. <laughs> His first basket of the night, he's got three. Five to nothing Trojans. Five and a half left in the opening period. Here's Hannah, top of the key. Going to work against the double team. Kicks it down to number 23. That's Walker. He gets it back to number 13, Juton. Misses a shot. Gets it back out to Dalton Wood. Wood out to Will Taylor. Now to Carson Trompke. Trojans on the run again. Feeney working, trying to drive baseline. Kicks it back to Carson Trompke in the corner. He'll work inside. Back up top, Will Taylor. Three from the top of the key. In and out. Can't get it to go. Rebound comes down to Walker. Walker will bring it up the floor, and now he gets to the top of the key, guarded by Derek Trump. Get a man-to-man defense from the Trojan. Gets it back out to Malcolm. Malcolm, double dribble. double dribble. Yeah, was, he <laughs> dribbled once, and then he stood there. <laughs> he missed it for, for a few seconds. <laughs> yep. Zach MacArthur, the hero from last night, checks back into the ball game. Will Taylor will take a seat for the Trojans. Carson Trump, he's going to get the inbounds pass. He'll bring it across the timeline. Goes left side to Derek Trump. Three on the way. It's off the back of the rim. Missed it. Rebound comes down to Kinnicott, and he'll pass it out to number 23. That is Grant Walker. Walker, left side to Hannah. Hannah, working to the right side. Ooh. Well, got away with a little bit of a push-off right there. Referees didn't think it was enough to call the foul. Kinnicott from the short corner, missed the shot. Rebound comes down to Zach MacArthur. MacArthur, working up the floor. Kicks it over to Carson Trompke, down the corner to Derek Trompke, back up to Carson, right side it comes to Feeney. Feeney throws it with Derek Trompke, able to run it down. Do behind Carson Trompke. Derek Trompke, which is moving in the middle, puts a tough shot up. It's knocked to the floor. He puts it in anyway. Trojans with a 7 to nothing lead now with 4-10 left here in the first period. Anna working against C.J. Feeney. Feeney has never been one to shy away from guarding anybody. Anna works inside, gets it up, pass over to Kenny Cut shots up, can't get it to go. Off the rim, and D- Dalton Wood gets the rebound. Here he comes, Derek Trompke down the floor. 
Going to try to drive baseline. Stopped out there by Walker. Gets it back over here. Here's Carson Trompke. Long three on the way. Off the back of the rim. Missed it. Rebound comes down to Kinnikett. Trojans ice cold from behind the arc right now. Those some shots. I say miss them. They're, they're missing everything. Number 20, Robert Hanna with the ball. Works up top against C.J. Feeney. Going to hand it off to Walker. Walker working against Derek Trompke. Now going to get the double team. Try to drive inside. Kicks it back out. This is number 13, uh, Juton. Kicks it back out to Hannah out in the right corner. He drives inside. Working against Dalton Wood. Shots up. It's an air ball. Missed it. <laughs> Zach MacArthur. Shot. Going to down the floor. Carson Tromke with the layup all by himself. Easy two points. And we're going to have a timeout by Coach Pritchard. Nine to nothing. Trojans with 3-11 left here in the first period. Back after this on True Country Radio. 1021 KZMC. The loss of a loved one is undoubtedly the hardest times we face in our life. Let the caring and experienced professionals at Lock and Hour Jones Mortuary support you through these difficult times. They offer a range of personalized services. You can count on the caring staff of Lock and Hour Jones to help you plan a personal lasting tribute to your loved one. Call Jim today and let him help you make the many decisions that need to be made during this difficult time. Lock and Hour Jones Mortuary, family owned and operated. 308-697-3838. The most coverage lives here. True Country Radio, 1021 KZMC. Trent Warm, Jay Shift it back here with you, along with Autumn Quint back at the studio. Nine to nothing Trojans here in the first half with 311 left here in the first period. But all Trojans so far, the Juanita Palace Aid fans still standing, waiting for that first basketball. Well, some of them have sat down. <laughs> some of them said they're retired of waiting. I get... no, they're getting back up. They just sit down for the timeout. Bronco fans have always done that. They've, they sit or they stand until the first basket's made, then they'll sit and cheer on their team. Inbound involving Malcolm. He gets it into Hannah. No press from the Trojans. Playing a man to man defense here. Hannah. Going to work to the top. Gets it over to Juton. Juton working against Carson Trump. He drives inside Austin Harris into the ballgame. We got a foul here. It's going to be on, on Carson Trump. Carson Trump. He's going to pick up his first. Maybe they're going to call a travel there, but nope, they called a foul. It's on the floor, so it'll be underneath. Austin Harris into the ballgame for Dalton Wood now, 6'4", senior. Had a pretty good night last night. He came in and played a few minutes here and there, and Harris gets the steal. Harris kicks it out to Zach MacArthur. He'll bring it up the floor. Down to Carson Trompke here on the right side. Back up to MacArthur. Left side it goes to Derek Trompke. Now to C.J. Feeney in the corner. Inside to Austin Harris. Nice spin move by Harris. Puts it up. Can't get it to go. Fights for the rebound. Can't get it, though. It's picked up by Walker. Down the floor and sold away by Derek Trompke. Tromke going to work up the floor. Nice screen from Austin Harris. Tromke gets it on the wing. Back up top to MacArthur. Goes inside to Harris again. Another nice spin move. Nice. Put it on the floor. Put it down. Got it. Austin Harris with a great move right there for the easy basket. 11 to nothing Trojans. Big man looking good. Beautiful footwork from the big man. Here's Hannah. Hannah works to the left wing. Picks it back up. This is Juton. Juton hands it off to Malcolm. He'll drive down the left side of the lane. Guarded by C.J. Feeney. Kicks it back out to Hannah. Hannah guarded by Tromke. Derek Carson Tromke. Spins in the middle of the lane, puts a shot up, won't go off the front of the rim. Carson Trompke with the rebound. Down the floor comes Zach MacArthur. MacArthur's going to work inside, puts a shot up, can't get it to go, but he's going to be fouled. He'll go to the line for two. Boy, I tell you what, Walker's lucky that uh, MacArthur just didn't go right over the top of him because he'd have been out of the ball game. You can't undercut somebody like that. It was an accident. Yeah. But I've seen that happen twice, and both players got kicked out of the game, even though they didn't mean to. So Walker picks up his first, second team foul, both teams with two. Arthur's first one off the front of the rim. I'd like to thank some more of our sponsors. We have Runs a Restaurant, Samway Floor Covering and Furniture, Southwest Farm and Auto Supply, Stockman's Bank, Taco John's McCook, Tri Valley Health System, Tri Valley Medical Foundation, Valmont Irrigation, Vieira Wireless McCook, Waypoint Bank, Cambridge, and Western Select Genetics, Lance Schiffler. And MacArthur missed the second one. Harris got the rebound, but missed the shot. <laughs> And I know why MacArthur missed those. There's too much time left on the clock. He doesn't, he doesn't make shots to the, the buzzer beater. Here is Hannah with the ball now, guarded by Will Taylor, who's checked back in. Hands it off to Jute, and he's going to work inside, and it's going to be a travel. Ran right into Zach MacArthur, but he took three steps before he did it. Will Taylor checked in for C.J. Feeney. Yeah, Will Taylor, Carson Trompke, Derek Trompke, Austin Harrison, Zach MacArthur on the floor. This is a relatively small lineup for the Trojans. It is. Derek Tromke for three off the wing, off the back rim. Can't get it to go. Will Taylor with the rebound. Gets down to the block. Turn around, kicks it back out to Derek Tromke. Tromke back up top to MacArthur. Now right side, it comes to Carson Tromke. He's going to make a move. 
Trying to get it inside. Kicks it back up to Derek Trompke. Top of the key. Three on the way. Got it. Derek Trompke finally hits the three. He's got five. 14 to nothing. Trojans. A minute 18 left here in the first period. Anna. Working down to the right side. Gets on the wing. Going to drive inside. Lays a little floater up off the front of the rim. Won't go. Rebound Will Taylor. Missed Derek Trompke all alone down the floor. But he gets out to Carson Trompke. Broncos get back now. Carson Trompke on the wing. Left side it goes to Taylor. Now to Zach MacArthur. Inside it goes to Austin Harris. Big man kicks it back out. Carson Trompke to Derek Trompke. Three from the left wing. Two in a row <laughs> for Derek Trompke. And he's got eight points. 17 nothing Trojans with the big lead right here in this opening period. 45 seconds left in the first. Anna with the ball, top of the key, working to the left side, kicks it back over to Juton. He's going to drive inside, kicks it back out. Here comes Malcolm. Malcolm, spin move, kicks it down the corner. This is Juton. Juton's going to drive back up top. We're going to have a foul. Oh, it's going to be a charge. They're going to call a charge on Juton. I thought that was going to be on Carson Trump because that was going to be a second, but they call a charge Actually, on Juton. Actually, they called it on Robert Hanna. Oh, they did, didn't they? Yep, Hanna with the moving screen it was. The third foul on the Broncos here in this opening quarter, two on the Trojans. 17 to nothing, your score. The Trojans with the lead, 28 seconds left here in the first period. Carson Tromke comes right side to Derek Tromke. He's going to leave him wide open. He's going to take the three. He missed that one. Dalton Wood tried to get the rebound, lost it off his hands. He goes out of bounds. It belonged to the Broncos. Right, lucky he didn't get yeah, called I was for a say, foul on that one. <laughs> he, he almost got an over-the-back foul right there. It's a good box out by number 34, Kinnikett. Broncos have not went to their bench yet. You get it in. This is Hannah with it. Going to be double teamed down the corner on the full court press. Dalton Wood at the steal. Gets over to MacArthur. Back to Derek Tromke. He lays it up. Can't get it to go. Dalton Wood at the rebound. He'll put it in. <laughs> Dalton Wood's got four. Seven seconds left. Here's Hannah with it. Going down the floor. He's going to be. That's going to be Will Taylor. Yeah, Will Taylor's going to get called for the blocking foul. Good call over there on that far yep. sideline. Didn't quite get to the sideline. 19 to nothing. Trojans with five seconds left here in the first period. Man to man defense. Full court. Going to get it into Juton. He gets it up the floor to Kinnicott. Back to Juton. Over to Walker, and they don't get the shot off. See, that was number three checked in the ballgame. Jackson Luttrell. 19 to nothing Trojans after one period of play. We're going to take a break. We'll be back here with your second quarter right after this on True Country Radio. 1021 KZMC. Your vision source. Do you suffer from migraines, headaches, eye strain, neck pain, or eye fatigue? Have you tried treatment or medication with no relief? Today, our eyes are working so much harder with our digital devices. Eye misalignment could be the culprit for these symptoms. Lifetime Eye Care has the answer. NeuroLens. Call Lifetime Eye Care to learn more about the newest lens technology. NeuroLens. Relief is in sight. Your vision source. Vision source. Lifetime Eye Care. Problems with how your vehicle drives? Take it to Doyle Auto Repair, the area's alignment and suspension specialist. From the simple tire and oil change service to the most complex automotive diagnosis, you can rely on Doyle Auto Repair of McCook to fix it right. Make your appointment today. Call the professionals at Doyle Auto Repair, 308-345-4233. That's 345-4233. Or drive or tow your woe to Doyle Auto Repair at 105 West 8, McCook. Doyle Auto Repair. True Country, 1021. True Country Radio, 1021 KZMC. Trent Warm, Chase Shipman back here with you along with Autumn Quint back at the studio. 19 to nothing Trojans here at the start of the second half and they are second quarter. They got the ball. MacArthur goes inside Dalton Wood down at the block. Tries to move inside. He's going to be fouled on his way up. I don't yeah. know if this is on Kinnicutt or Juton. I think it's going to be on Juton. It is. Juton's going to pick up the foul. His first of the ball game. Fourth team foul against the Broncos. Dalton Wood to the free throw line to shoot two. Wood with the shot. Puts the first one in. Got a referee sitting right in front of us, and he says that the charge call is no more. I mean, the, the signal that they give for the charge, the hand behind the head, is now all player control foul. Wood makes, misses the second one. Will Taylor with the rebound. Misses the shot. Picked up on the rebound is Kinnikett. Hannah with the ball now for the Broncos. Brings it across the timeline, middle of the floor. Works to the right side. And it's going to be sold away by Derek Tromke coming from behind with the steal, but picked right back up by Hannah for the Broncos. Gets it off to Walker. Walker drives inside, kicks it out in the corner to Kinnicott. Over the top of Dalton Wood. Missed the shot. Juton with the rebound. Can't get it to go. We're going to have a foul. A long ways across the court to call a foul, but it is the right call. 
Number 12, Will Taylor picks up his second. That sends Grant Walker to the free throw line to shoot two. 20 to nothing, Trojans with the lead here. 7.30 left here in this first half. Walker trying to break the ice and does. First point of the night scored by Grant Walker and the Juanita Palisade Bronco fans can set. So Walker gets his second free throw here. Trying to double their score. And he got it. Got them both. Grant Walker with two for two from the charity stripe, and it's 20 to two. Up the floor comes Zach MacArthur. MacArthur loses the ball. It's picked up by Carson Tromke, though. Tromke back to Zach MacArthur. Left side to Eric Tromke. Three from the wing. And can't get it to go, but Dalton Wood with an easy rebound. Going to go straight back up and put it in. When you're 6'6", and their tallest guy is about 5'9", maybe, you're going to get some of them easy rebounds tonight. Hannah down the floor, working against Zach MacArthur. Gets to the middle of the lane. Turns, hands it off to Walker. And he loses it out of bounds. The Trojan basketball. C.J. Feeney and Ben Hoberty check into the ball game. Derek Tromke and Zach MacArthur will go to the bench for the Trojans. 22-2, your score. Trojans with the lead. Just went under seven minutes left here in the first half. Carson Tromke gets it to C.J. Feeney here on the right wing. Feeney gets down the middle. Reds into Kinnicott, kicks it back out to Will Taylor. Now back to Carson Tromke. He'll take the three from the wing off the back of the room. Can't get it to go. Need to follow your shot, son. Picked up here by Malcolm. Down to Hannah. Hannah working on the left wing, working against Carson Tromke. Dribbles back up top, gets the top. The key kicks the right side to Juton. He'll get to the free throw line, kicks it back out to Malcolm. Running the wheel play here. Hands it off to Hannah. Hannah's going to get to the middle of the lane. Now working against Carson Tromke. Goes up, puts a shot up, can't get it to go. Rebound, Ben Hoverty. Hoverty up to Carson Tromke. Back to Ben Hoverty on the left side. Goes inside to Dalton Wood. Dalton Wood turns and fires his way in there. Gets the easy basket. He's got nine points. He leads the Trojans. Derek Tromke with eight right behind him. Hannah up top now. Working against Carson Tromke. Going to drive down the lane. Gets to the middle. It's knocked away by C.J. Feeney. Carson Tromke picks it up. He'll kick it back out to Feeney. Trojans on the run. Feeney going down the lane. Going to get inside. Spin move. Turn, scoots, and scores. C.J. Feeney with five for the Trojans. we got a timeout by the Broncos. Jacob Pritchard wants to talk things over. 5.49 left in the first half. It's 26-2 to two in favor of the Trojans. Back after this on True Country Radio, 1021 KZMC. Proven performance, trusted reliability. That is what h H Trailers are. DLM Trailer Sales and Service sells h H Trailers with outstanding customer service. For the last couple of decades, h H has been manufacturing trailers with unmatched strength, durability, and exceptional value. Steel and aluminum utility trailers, car haulers, equipment trailers, dump trailers, and enclosed cargo trailers with the professional reliability and performance that you can count on. Get to DLM Trailer Sales and Service to learn more today or call Darren at 697-4240. Your source for h H Trailers. HFRSN. KZMC, Trent Borm, Case Shipper back here with you, along with Autumn Quint back at the studio. 26 to 2, the Trojans with a big lead here in the first half. 549 left in this second period. Broncos have the ball. Robert Hanna going to bring it up. Crosses the timeline, right side up high, guarded by Carson Trump. He gets over to Walker. Walker's going to drive inside, kicks it back up top to Malcolm. Malcolm loses the ball. It's almost stolen away by Ben Hoberty, but he picks it up. Juden, he's and he traveled. Yep, shuffled his feet. <laughs> shuffled his feet when he tried to make the cut. It's yep. called for the travel. Brody Wood into the ball game for the Trojans. Yep, Brody Wood into the, his first action on the season. Him and Ben Hoberty both seeing their first varsity action tonight. I guess if this game continues like this, you're going to see a lot of bench play. Here from the Trojans. Carson Tromke to Will Taylor on the left wing. Back up top to Carson Tromke. Tromke going to be fouled here by number 15, Malcolm. A little too aggressive with the hands there, Mr. Malcolm. His first foul, 15 foul of the Broncos. C.J. Feeney to inbound it at half court. To get it into Carson Tromke. Tromke down the floor. Working to the left side. Gets over to Ben Hoberty on the wing. Hoberty back up top to Will Taylor. Taylor right side to Carson Tromke. Back up top to C.J. Feeney. Feeney going to drive inside. 
Going to kick it back over to Ben Hoverty. They're down the corner. Will Taylor going to take the three from the corner, and there won't go. Rebound. Hoverty, a great <laughs> rebound. He put it in, and he's going to be fouled, too. Ben Hoverty skied up, got that rebound, put it back up and in, and got the foul the end one. I believe it's on Kinnikett. It sure is. Be his second. Aiden Kinnikett with his second foul. Hoverty to the free throw line for the old-fashioned three-point play. Over to gets the ball from referee, dribbles, shoots. It's off the back rim, can't get it to go. Rebound, Feeney. And we're going to call traveling on C.J. Feeney. 28-2 now, Trojans with a 26-point lead with 4.55 left in the first half. This is number 20, Robert Hanna with the ball on the right wing. Back up top, it comes to Malcolm. Malcolm drives the lane, puts a shot up, can't get it to go. It goes... Out of bounds off of Malcolm to be Trojan basketball. Looked like he was looking for somebody cutting baseline towards the basket. Just missed the pass. Yep. Carson Trump is going to bring it across the timeline here on the left or right side up high. They'll work back to the top of the key. Now goes left side to Hoberty on the wing. Goes inside for Feeney. It's tipped away. Feeney able to chase it down, though. Feeney, if they have it knocked away, it's going to go out of bounds. <laughs> Going to stay there. Yep, going to stay. It went off the Broncos. He tried to save it. I thought maybe yeah. it went off Brody Wood. But. No, Grant Walker tried to save it off Brody Wood, and Rahul Malcolm stepped in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> so Carson Trump get inbound. A box set from the Trojans. Carson looking around. Gets it to Will Taylor in the corner. Taylor back up top to Ben Hoverty. Hoverty back to Carson Trump on the left wing. He'll dribble back up to the top of the key and reset thing. Comes to Will Taylor here on the right wing. Taylor back up top to Carson Trompke inside to Feeney at the free throw line. Back out to Ben Hoverty, three on the way. Off the rim, can't get it to go. Kinnikett with the rebound for the Broncos. Kicks it out to Hannah. Hannah down the floor. Gets to the elbow. Kicks it back up top. This is Malcolm over to number three, uh, Luttrell, who's checked into the ball game. I missed that. Sorry about that, guys. Jackson Luttrell's in. Walker drives the lane, gets a shot block. It's tipped away by Will Taylor. Goes out of bounds. It'll stay with the Broncos. We're quite for sure her blocked that shot, whether it was C.J. Feeney or Brody Wood. <clears throat> and, uh, Derek Trompke and Zach McArthur checking back in. C.J. Feeney, Will Taylor will take a seat. It's probably the smallest lineup we've seen for the Trojans in a long time. <laughs> yeah. Matches up very nicely with Juanita, though. Patrell with the ball, guarded by Hoberty. Makes a nice move, gets it to the left wing, kicks it down to... Malcolm, he drives inside, reverse layup, miss. Rebound comes down to Brody Wood. Out to Ben Hoverty. Back over to Carson Tromke now. Down the floor quickly. Gets inside, kicks it out to Derek Tromke. Three on the way from the corner, missed it. Rebound comes down. It's going to be a foul on Brody Wood. Went over the back to Kinnikett. Fifteen foul on the Trojans, six on the Broncos here in the first half. 331 left in this first half. It's 28-2, to two, Trojans with the big lead here. Hmm. Uh, Coach Jared Albers coming up to visit with us during the Hogemeyer Seeds halftime show. Raul Malcolm had to go out of the game. He's got a bloody nose. So checking back in, I believe, is Juton, and it is. Hannah brings it up the floor, gets to the elbow, kicks it back out to Juton. Juton back to Hannah in the corner now. Hannah working around. Turns, grunted the shoot, didn't have a shot there. Kinnicott has it now. Back up top, it comes to Latrell. Latrell. Gets to the top of the key. Kicks it back to Hannah. Down in the right corner. Gets up to the wing. Puts a shot up. It won't go. Rebound comes down to Derek Tromke. Out to Zach MacArthur quickly. Trojans on the run. Gets it back up to Derek Tromke. Three from the top of the key. Can't get it to go. Rebound comes down to Juton for the Broncos. Juton out to Hannah. Austin Harris going to check back in for the Trojans. Hannah, middle of the lane. Puts a shot up and got it. His first, Their first field goal of the night comes at 245. Left here in the first half. They had two free throws before that, but that's her first field goal tonight. Zach MacArthur over to Derek Trump. He thought about the three. Looks inside to Brody Wood in the short corner. Nice pass inside to Hoberty. Shots up and in. Nice pass from Brody Wood to Ben Hoberty and assist for Wood. And the shot goes in. It's 30-4. to four. Ben Hoberty's fourth point of the night. Here's Hannah, right side. They're working against Carson Trump. He gets a screen. Screen gets down to the short corner. Puts a shot up and in. Robert Hannah with two straight field goals for the Broncos on their last two possessions. Now makes it 30-6. to six. Carson Tromke hands it off to Zach MacArthur. 2.05 left here in the first half. Tromke misses a three. Wider rebound comes down to Aiden Kinnikett. Hannah 
brings it up the floor for the Broncos. Top of the key goes right side to Latrell in the corner. Working around, Latrell back up top, almost thrown away by Derek Trompke. It's tipped away, but Latrell runs it down. Back to Juton now, left side up high. Going to dribble top of the key. Goes to the right side. This is Latrell down in the corner. Trying to get it inside to Kinnicott. Now he throws it away. Walker had a chance to get it. Brody Wood's going to get tied up with Kinnicott, and it'll belong to the Broncos. Austin Harris coming in. Brody Wood will get a seat for the Trojans. Also in is number 14, Layden Lawler, Lawyer, Lawler, excuse me, for the Broncos, and number two, Michael, Michael Duvall. Duvall. Duvall in the ball game there. Hannah trying to find somebody. Now gets it in. That is number 14, Lawler. He hits the shot. Comes in the ball game, hits his first shot. Maybe he should have started. Here's a steal by Walker, but Carson Tromke gets it right back. Tromke down the back. Zach McCarthy here on the right wing. Skip pass. Derek Tromke on the left side. Back to Carson Tromke. Back to McArthur. McArthur will dribble back up top. Reset things. Carson Tromke with it on the right wing. Back up to McArthur. Back to Tromke. Three on the way. Drilled it. Carson Tromke with his first three of the night. He has five points, and the Trojans go up by 25, 33-8. to eight. A minute left here in the first half. Hannah gets to the free throw line. Spin move. Working against Carson Trompe. Shot won't go. Austin Harris with the rebound. Kicks it out. Oh, stolen away there by Lawler. Gets it in the hands of Hannah. Goes up against Austin Harris. Can't get the shot to go. Rebound spot for Harris. Picks it up. Kicks it out to MacArthur. MacArthur down the floor. Going to work inside. Down the lane. Kicks it out to Derek Trompe. Three from the corner. Can't get it to go. Rebound comes down to Juton for the Broncos. Juton out to Hannah. Top of the key now. Goes to the left side. That's June again. Travel. That is a travel. Yeah. <laughs> think, <laughs> think about six steps right there. He oh, thought it was football season for a second. Yeah, that was not even close. No. <laughs> Number one checking in the ball game for the Broncos. That's Graydon Settle at a freshman. Thirty-three to eight. Your score here with twenty-eight seconds left here in the first half. The Trojans with the big lead. MacArthur crosses the timeline, middle of the floor, gets a Derek Trompke on the left wing. Back up to MacArthur. MacArthur working against Hannah. Gonna hand, nope, he's going to fake the handoff. Now he gets it to Carson Trompe on the pass. Back to MacArthur. Top of the key at nine seconds left. MacArthur gets to the wing, looking inside for Heinz Harris. Harris spin move, turn around, jump around the buzzer, got it. Austin Harris says, I don't know how I did that, but I did it. And he did. He literally shook his head, said, I don't know how that went in. Basket for the Trojans. They lead it 35-8 to eight here at halftime. We're going to take a break. We'll be back here with your Hogemeyer Seeds Halftime Show. Coach Jared Albers will be joining us during that and back after this on True Country Radio, 1021 KZMC. When you're in Juanita, be sure to visit all the great local merchants, especially your local Walgreens supermarket. Here you'll discover high-quality groceries and fresh produce, courtesy of AWG and Premier Wholesale Providers. And, of course, Walgreens First Class Meat Department features custom cuts that you'll want for your next gathering or for that special dinner for two. When in Juanita, shop Walgreens Supermarket and experience small-town shopping at its finest. First State Insurance in Cambridge, your hometown team. First State Insurance is your local resource in Nebraska for the best and most affordable personal, commercial, and farm insurance products. For insurance outside the box, talk to one of their local independent agents. Let First State Insurance be your first choice for insurance. Their agents work with the nation's top insurance providers. As a result, they can offer you more choices along with personalized service and the convenience of a nearby office. Call or stop by today, 308-697-3835. First State Insurance in Cambridge. Sandman Growyard is a proud supporter of the Juanita Palisade Broncos. They graciously support these student athletes on the court and in the classroom. Sandman Growyard is excited to cheer on the Broncos this sport season. They celebrate all successes and achievement of the Juanita Palisade Broncos. Sandman Growyard, a custom backgrounding feedlot. For more information, call 308-394-5123. Remember, it's a great day to be a Bronco. 
It's not me, it's you. You never really knew me. I finally found someone that gets me. The list of breakup lines to end your banking relationship are limitless. The reality is, it's them, not you. You deserve a bank with someone who has your best interest at heart and gets to know you. First State Bank Community Bank is small enough to call you by your first name, yet large enough to offer the access and convenience of a big bank. So give them a call or stop by any of their locations in Barnum, Cambridge, Holbrook, Alma, or Stamford for a bank that truly gets you. The most coverage lives here on the Hometown Family Radio Sports Network. MC Trent Form, Jay Shifflin back here with you along with Autumn Quint back at the studio. This is your Hogemeyer Seeds halftime show. Hogemeyer Seeds, proud to be U.S. based. Contact Bo Seed in Orleans, Nebraska at 308 991 Russ and Brendan Thrax at Norton, Kansas at 785 871 7867 or the North 40 in Oberlin, Kansas, 785 475 4212. Hogemeyer Seeds, the right seed for right here. And I'm Trent Florman. I'm joined now by Cambridge Trojan head coach Jared Albers. And, Coach, you got a nice win over a pretty good Juanita Palisade team tonight. Yeah, they are. They're really talented. they got a lot of really good basketball players, um, a lot of speed, a lot of quickness. They're not afraid to shoot the ball from deep. You know, I think the biggest key for us tonight is, uh, you know, Callie Co- or, uh, Peyton Cox um, inside. She's a tremendous offensive rebounder. And, uh, I mean, that's where she gets a lot of her points. And uh, I thought we did an awesome job keeping her off the boards tonight. We rebounded the ball exceptionally well, I felt like, tonight. Um, and really kind of kept her. I mean, she still had 17 points. Yes. I mean, you know, she's a focal point and she, I mean, she's tough inside. But I feel like we limited, you know, the easy buckets. We made her get it, earn everything that she got. Well, they came out and, and you guys came out also in a, in a press. So it was a very up tempo game to start right. out. Uh, but you, could, you guys controlled the ball and, and really got that lead right off that made them get out of their press by getting some easy transition baskets. Yeah, I mean, that was a key for us. I mean, we talked about, hey, guys, you know, nobody likes going against the press. It makes you uncomfortable. But, I mean, if we execute our press break, and I feel like we did okay, um, you know, we'll run them out of that. And, and, uh, and uh, you know, they won't have to, we won't have to worry about that. I mean, obviously, later in the game, that changed when they needed to get back in the game. But, um, you know, for the most part, I thought we did a good job. It's it's a newer press break that we're trying to run this year, and there's a lot of great components. And uh, I think once we kind of get it down and trust it, um, it's going to be really effective for us. Tonight it was just very, you know, plotted along, I guess. Yeah, yeah. So. But had a really nice game. And for the second night in a row, you had a bench player come off and have a really good game. Leah Downer with uh, several rebounds tonight. Mm-hmm. Uh, ended up with uh, eight points once again tonight. Yeah. Uh, talk to us a little bit about how Leah's been doing. You know, she- you know, we've, we've had some injuries to that position and some attrition at that position. You know, she's kind of had to come in. We just, you know, we just evaluated. You know, we had a couple of younger players, and we just kind of evaluated and said which one, um, you know, we feel like we felt the most comfortable, and she kind of just in there, you know, for necessity. But the thing about it is she just plays. She doesn't, you know, worry about details and things like that. She just goes in there and just does her very best. And she's aggressive. She's always attacking the hoop, always attacking the rebound. Um, you know, she hit a three tonight, which is a bonus yes. for us, you know yes. what I mean? So, um, you know, she did a tremendous job, you know. She, and, again, just the, her level of effort. And I, I think it got close there, you know, towards the end of the third quarter, and she hit a three to really kind of extend the lead back out. Um, couldn't be happier with her effort. You know, like you said last night, you know, uh, Brylon Springer came off and played a tremendous game too. So um, that's what I told the girls in the locker room at half, or after the game was just, you know, our offense looks good because we're just moving the basketball and sharing the basketball, and whoever's got the shot shoots it. You know, yeah. We're not worried about who's – you know, we're not worried about a bunch of things. We're just worrying about, hey, I got an open opportunity here. I'm going to make the most of it. Is that kind of a, a nice – I mean, you always like to have a Korean face with that player because you can't ever beat that type of right, player. Right. But it, at the same time, it's kind of nice to have everybody, like you said, on the floor, everybody just shooting the ball. It doesn't matter who has it, and if you got the open shot, you take it. Absolutely. I mean, it makes it makes game planning and prepping a lot better. I mean, you, know, you just you just go out there and you run your basic stuff, and you you talk about you can just talk about fundamentals at that point. You don't have to worry about little nuances of everything. You just hey, this is these are the things that we're worried about, and if we go out and execute those things, we're going to be fine. And um, I mean, we were very very basic. I mean, we ran about as archaic of an offense most of the second half tonight as you possibly could, and and uh, but we were really effective with it. And honestly. Um, you know, we had lots and lots more opportunities that we didn't take advantage of in that too. So, um, again, the girls did a, did a good job of just attacking, being the aggressor, 
Um, like you said, we came out hot. You know, we came out really aggressive and play, uh, played with tempo. You know, last night, uh, I mean, we had 20 points at half, but you know, tonight we played with more pace and got to 30. And uh, I thought we came out, and uh, you know, third quarter was a bit of a struggle. I was hoping we maybe extend the lead, but it kind of condensed a little bit. Um, I thought the last minute of the third quarter was huge for us. Um, you know, we subbed and put the starters back in and pressed and, and uh, really got after them uh, pretty hard. And I thought that really kind of stopped their momentum that they had building, and it really kind of jump-started us. Well, Tuesday night you got Southern Valley, a rivalry game coming to town. Uh, you know, they lost quite a few players a couple of years ago, and they've been struggling to rebuild now. Talk to us a little bit about Southern Valley, what you know about them, and how do you get the W Tuesday night? Well, I know, you know, it's it's going to be kind of a similar type scenario that we've seen. You know, they're not going to be tremendously deep. I mean, they, but they do have, um, you know, an elite talent. Uh, Ambos is one heck of a player. Um, but a, the big thing for us is I think we play collectively, and that's probably one of our biggest jumps from last season, too, is collectively we play pretty good team defense. And uh, I think we have some people that can guard elite type players and, and kind of keep them in check. So I think for us, this, the key is going to be keeping her, you know, keeping her in check, um, and then just rebounding the heck of the ball, heck, uh, the, the ball, heck out of the ball around <laughs> her. So I'm just, you know, I, I, I really, I'm really relishing that opportunity. You know, like they, uh, we played them this summer. It was a tight game, and uh, I think we've made some big gains since that point. So hope, looking forward to it. Well, coach, congratulations yeah, on the win once again, starting the season two and zero, and good luck on Tuesday night. Yeah, appreciate it. Thanks. That was Cambridge Trojan head coach Jared Albers. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back here with the start of the second half right after this on True Country Radio, 1021 KZMC. As spring nears and the bugs, insects, and other creatures break their hibernation, call TKO Pest Control in Palisade. They specialize in grain fumigation, rodent control, termites, and general commercial and residential spraying. Be sure to call Kenny at 308-285-3293 today. That's 308-285-3293. TKO Pest Control is a proud supporter of the Juanita Palisade Athletic and Academic Programs. Walk these fields for 85 years. Grow deeper roots here. Know what thrives here. Bring in world-class genetics and innovative traits like chrome triple-stack corn hybrids and Enlist E3 soybeans. Refine it through pure local know-how and expertise. Do all of that, and the only thing left is the right seed. Hogemeyer. Learn more at therightseed.com. HFRSN, Southwest Nebraska Sports Leader. Your country radio, 1021 KZMC. Trent Florham, Chase Shiplin, back here with you, along with Adam Quinn, back at the studio. This is your Hogemeyer Seeds Halftime Show. Hogemeyer Seeds, proud to be U.S. based. Contact Malene Seed and Fence in Gothenburg, Nebraska, 308-529-5028. Monty Hansen in Binkelman, Nebraska, 308-340-5874. And Extreme Ag in Cambridge, Nebraska, 308 308- Four four zero two six five two. Hogemeyer seeds the right seed for right here. First half stats for the Broncos. Uh, Layden Lawler had two points. Robert Hanna had four, and Grant Walker had two. He was two of two from the charity stripe. The Broncos go two that just them two free throws. Uh, was all they shot, and they went hundred percent. Carson Tromke had five points for the Trojans. Ben Hoberty with four. He was zero of one from the free throw line. Derek Tromke with eight points. Uh, Zach MacArthur went 0 for 2 from the charity stripe, did not score. C.J. Feeney with 5 points. He was 1 of 2 from the free throw line. Dalton Wood had 9, 1 of 2 from the free throw line. And Austin Harris with 4 for the Trojans. They went 2 of 7 from the charity stripe, just uh, 27%. Here's a steal by Walker. He goes out to 4. Derek Trumpke comes back and blocks it, though. Now Carson Trumpke going to get called for a travel. Yeah, he was kind of getting leaned on there and shuffled his feet. So the Broncos have the ball out of bounds. Trojans had it to start the second half. They lead it 35-8. to eight. Trojans just 27 29% in the first half from the free throw line. Hannah gets the ball down short corner. Trying to go against C.J. Feeney. Kicks it back out to Malcolm. Malcolm guarded by Will Taylor. Malcolm, left side. It's going to be stolen away by Derek Tromke. Going down there on a foot race. Spin move. Puts it up. Can't get it to go. Dalton Wood with the rebound. He'll put it back up. Can't get the shot to go. Rebound comes down to Walker. Hannah with it. You got to make those two shots right there. <clears throat> Hannah kicks it inside the Kinnicket at the free throw line. Going to hand it back off to Hannah. Gets around. Shot from the right side. Can't get it to go. C.J. Feeney runs down the rebound for the Trojans. Down the floor comes Carson Tromke. 
loses his footing, gets it back up. C.J. Feeney now inside the lane, going to put the shot up, can't get it to go. Shot comes around, and Walker, excuse me, Juton has the rebound for the Broncos. So the Trojans missed three bunnies right here to start the second half. Hannah gets it inside to Kinnika. Nope, tipped away. It's picked back up by Hannah. Hannah coming down the right side. Going to work against C.J. Feeney. Puts a shot up. Can't get it to go. Rebound comes down, and it's going to be out of – nope, they're going to save it. And it's Dalton Wood into Will Taylor. Now to Carson Tromke. Trojans on the run. Tromke kicks it back out to C.J. Feeney on the wing. Back up to Dalton Wood. Left side, Derek Tromke. Three on the way. Can't get it to go. Trojans ice cold here to start the third period. Good thing they lead it 35-8. to eight. Hannah across the timeline for the Broncos. Zach McCarthy getting ready to check back in. Here's Malcolm down the free throw line, and he traveled. <laughs> jumped up. Dalton Wood jumped up to block a shot. Hannah said, I'll just come back and I'll, I'll just hold on to this. Save a little faith here. <laughs> you don't need to swat it. Derek Tromke goes out of the ball game. Zach McCarthy's checked in for the Trojans. Layden Lawler checks in, and Malcolm will go to the bench. There's Raul Malcolm going to the bench for the Broncos. McCarthy will bring up the ball for the Trojans. Goes right side to Carson Tromke. Back up top to McCarthy. It's stolen away. Here goes Walker. Down the floor. Puts it up and in. Grant Walker with his first field goal tonight. He's got four points. Dalton Wood now. Gets down to the block. Turns. Kicks it back out to Will Taylor. Three on the way. Can't get it to go. Rebound comes down to C.J. Feeney. Feeney inside. Spin move. Turns. Shoots. Can't get it to go. The Trojans ice cold right now. There's a lid on that bucket. Hannah's bringing it up the floor for the Broncos. Kicks it off to Walker. Hey, Walker's pretty fast. Gets it off to Juton. Juton back to Hannah. Spin move. Middle of the lane. Puts a shot up. Can't get it to go, but a foul. It's going to be on Will Taylor. There sure is. No, C.J. Feeney. His second. Pretty clean first half. The Trojans had five fouls. Six for the Broncos in that first half. And at the free throw line to shoot two. He's got four points on the night, and this is the first one. I'd like to thank some more of our sponsors. We have Acres Equipment McCook, Amateurs Bar and Grill, Brining Truck and Trailer, Cambridge Body Shop, Cambridge Supermarket, Cambridge Telephone, Channel Seed, Andrew Carpenter, Community Hospital, Coke Family Dentistry, and Curbelli Physical Therapy. Hannah misses them both. Will Taylor got the rebound, kicks it out to Carson Tromke. Tromke back to Taylor here on the left wing, back up top to Carson Tromke. Tromke works his way to the right side, goes back up top to Zach MacArthur. MacArthur left side to Will Taylor. Back up top to MacArthur, right side Carson Tromke. Gets it inside to Feeney. Back to door pass here to Dalton Wood. Wood trying to make a move. Gets fouled. Going to give him the two-shot foul here. Trying to make the move up, and I think it's on Walker. Nope. Jackson Luttrell picks up the foul. So Dalton Wood at the free throw line to shoot two. He's one of two on the night. And he hits the first one. Got the shooter's roll on that. Got 10 points now. Leading the Trojans in scoring. Derek Tromke behind him with eight. Thirty-six to ten. Trojans finally get on the board here in the second half. Dalton Wood misses the second one. CJ Feeney, he got the rebound. He's going up for the shot and he's fouled. Looks like this is gonna be on Layden Lawler. I believe you are correct. Yep. Lawler picks up the foul, his first second team foul on the Broncos. CJ Feeney to the line for two. And, oh, got robbed on that one. That rolled around the rim, bounced around, wouldn't go in. Lawler will go out of the ball game, check it in. Is number two, Michael Duell. Duell. We'd also like to thank Cross Creek Golf Links, Royal Auto Repair, First State Bank of Cambridge, Hogemeyer Seeds, Troy Westap, and Honeyman Custom Harvesting. Feeney misses them both, and now we're going to have a foul on Will Taylor going over the back on the rebound. This is going to be his fourth. Maybe not. Nope, third. Third. 36 to 10, your score. Trojans with the lead. 5.05 left in the third period. Hannah with the ball. Right side, it comes to Walker. Walker kicks it back up top. This is Duell. Duvel, excuse me. Duvel kicks it back up. Looking inside for Latrell, working against Dalton Wood. 
Trail doesn't want to take that. Gives it back out to DeVell. Back up top, this is Hannah. Hannah, this way, the push off her. It gets to the elbow, kicks the shot up, can't get it to go. Rebound comes out of spot for it. Goes off the Broncos and out of bounds. Carson Tromke and uh, Mr. Juton there, Kyle Juton. Derek Tromke, Austin Harris check back in. Dalton Wood and Carson Tromke. Carson Tromke will take the seat. 439 left here in the third period. Trojans up by 26, 36 to 10. Zach MacArthur, right side to Derek Tromke. Down in this short corner to C.J. Feeney. Inside to Austin Harris, and he puts it up and in. Austin Harris has six for the Trojans tonight. <clears throat> Hannah gets to the top of the key, comes right side to, <clears throat> excuse me, to uh, Duvel. Pass goes up to Walker. He puts a shot up, can't get it to go, and it goes out of bounds. Nice play by Austin Harris. Could have trouble saving that one. It'd probably smarter just to let it go. <laughs> yeah. Check it into the ball game. It'll be Raul Malcolm. He'll come in for Robert Hanna. MacArthur brings it up the floor, gets it to Derek Trompke. Inside it goes to Feeney. Feeney with the spin move, lays it up off the glass and in. A nice move by C.J. Feeney. He's got seven for the Trojans. They're up 30 now, 40 to 10. This one under the halfway mark of the third period. Here's Walker, going to get a three from the top of the key. Can't get it to go. Rebound comes down to Will Taylor. Out to MacArthur. MacArthur up to four, quick to Derek Tromke. Tromke's going to drive. Gets inside, puts a shot up, can't get it to go, but he's fouled. He'll go to the line for two. Two, this is on for sure. Fouls on the Jackson Latrell, his second. Fourth team foul on the Broncos, two on the Trojans here in the first and third period, excuse me. And Derek Tromke misses the front end of the shot. Off the front of the rim. Ben Hoberty checks in. C.J. Feeney will get a rest. We would also like to thank Lifetime Eye Care, Bacchanower Jones Mortuary, Mark's Pharmacy and Shirley Kay's Coffee Shop, Mid Plains Community College, and MNB Bank. Tromke misses it both. Austin Harris is going to get called for a foul, a little push-off right there. Didn't think they saw that, but they did. When, you, when you're 6'4 and 260 pounds, they're going to see a lot. <laughs> He's a, he is definitely all there. Walker's going to bring the ball up now for the Broncos. He'll cross the timeline right in the middle, come across the big C there. Works to the left wing, gets it inside to Latrell. Latrell working against Harris, and we're going to have a travel. Nice job by Harris right there. He has very good hands and very good footwork yeah, for being that big of a guy. And, and not playing much. I mean, you know, he played one year his freshman year, and then he didn't go out his sophomore year. Came out for the first game last year and quit, and now he's back out there and looking pretty good. And here's the oh trail, my. and he stepped out of bounds. I don't know how that was out of foul. <laughs> pretty much tackled Will Taylor right there. Got the steal, but it went out of bounds. It'll be Trojan basketball. Will Taylor in, bounded right up near half court. They're just on the Broncos' side there. Into the backcourt to Zach MacArthur. He'll work it up across the timeline, right side. It's to Derek Trump. He goes inside to Hoberty. He couldn't, can't handle the pass. And it'll be Bronco basketball in the turnover. 317 left in the third period. It's 40 to 10. Trojans are up by 30. Walker over to Malcolm. Malcolm top of the key. He's going to work to the right side. Now gets to Latrell in the corner. He'll drive inside. Spin move. Gets down underneath, throws it over, and Austin Harris with a great steal. Here comes Will Taylor. Taylor down the floor. Gets to the block, kicks it out to Derek Tronkey. Three on the way. Catch and shoot. Got it. <laughs> Derek. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Austin. Derek Tronkey with three <laughs> for the three. He's got 11 points. Trojans go up 43 to 10 with 245. Here's the trail going inside. This is Walker working against MacArthur. Puts a shot up and in. Nice move by Grant Walker. He's got six points to lead the Broncos tonight. Tromke, a catch and shoot once again for the three. Can't get that one to go. Rebound comes down to Kinnikett. <clears throat> Brody Wood getting ready to check in for the Trojans. Kinnikett down the lane. Working against Austin Harris. He traveled. <laughs> Austin Harris is going to go out of the ballgame. Brody Wood in for the Trojans. Zach MacArthur, Derek Tronkey, Brody Wood, Ben Hoberty, and Will Taylor on the floor for the Trojans. Grant Walker, Al Malcolm, Kyle Juton, Aiden Kinnikett, and Jackson Luttrell in there for the Broncos. Oh, nice pass underneath, but Jackson Luttrell makes a good steal right there. 
Hey. Whoa. <laughs> oh, two players just had a tie-up right there. They don't blow the whistle at all. Yeah. Uh, you go down the floor. I guess it didn't really affect the play. So, And now we're going to have a jump ball here between Zach MacArthur and I believe Kyle Juton. Nope, it is uh, number 15, or number 23, Grant Walker. Number 14, checking into the ball game. That'll be Layden Lawler. 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 Ah, can't spit that name out. And somebody's got to come out. For Malcolm's got to go. <laughs> they had six Broncos on the floor there for a second. Carson Tromke going to check in. Comes in for for Derek Tromke. <laughs> First he was coming in for Brody Wood, but he comes in for Derek Tromke there. Will Taylor, the only starter left on the floor for the Trojans right now. Jackson on the trail with the ball up top. Working by the timeline. Gets it down to Lawler. Lawler working against Will Taylor. Comes back up top. Hands it off to Juton. Juton back to Walker. Back to Juton. Juton's going to drive inside down the lane. Puts it up. Can't get it to go. Ball's tipped around. It's on the floor. Who's going to get to it? It's going to be Brody Wood. And now we're going to have a file on Kyle Juton diving on the top of the back of Brody Wood. A nice hustle there by Brody Wood. Juton's going to pick up his second foul. Be the fourth team foul for the Broncos. Jutton, excuse me. I thought it was Juton, but they're saying Jutton on the PA, so we'll go with that. Robert Hanna back into the ball game. Walker will go to the bench. Also back in Duvel. Here's Will Taylor. Will Taylor has the ball thrown away by Hanna. Must have needed just a little bit of rest. Here's a layup to Duvel. He can't get the shot to go. But over the top of Brody Wood, here's the trail with it. Back out to Lawler. He'll put the shot up and in. Layden Lawler hits his second field goal of the night. He's got four points. And it's 43-14. to 14. Trojans with the lead. Carson Tromke down the short corner to Hoberty gets it back inside to Brody Wood. Shot won't go. Hoberty with the rebound. Kicks it out to Will Taylor. Will Taylor gets it back up top to MacArthur. MacArthur going to drive down the lane. Puts a shot up towards the basket. It won't go. Rebound comes down to Aiden Kinnikick. Hannah has the ball now for the Broncos. Crosses the timeline. Gets to the left elbow. Spin move in the middle of the lane now. Nice pass underneath to Aiden Kinnikick. He'll turn, shoot. Can't get the shot to go. Rebound comes down. Hannah has it. Working against Will Taylor. Taylor blocks the shot. It's picked up by Ben Hoberty. Now Jackson the trail almost sold away from Carson Trompe, but it goes into the Bronco bench, and it'll be Trojan basketball. 39 seconds left here in the third. It's 43-14. to 14. MacArthur gets the inbounds pass from Trompe. He's going to walk it up the floor now. 35 seconds left. Gets it to Trompe on the right wing. Skip pass over to Will Taylor on the left wing. Back up to MacArthur. MacArthur to the left, right side to Trompe. Three on the way. Off the back rim. Won't go. Will Taylor with the rebound. Works into the middle of the lane. Deals the ball. It's tipped around. Picked up. And Ben Hoberty and Hannah get tied up. And let's see. We got a foul here. It'll be on Ben Hoberty. Hoberty's going to pick up his first foul. Fourth to, see, is it fourth? Yeah, fourth team foul on the Trojans. Both teams with four here in the third period. Out of 15 seconds left, the Trojans are up 43-14 to 14 here in the third period. Hannah. And now we're going to have a moving screen or against Kinnikett. The player control foul, as Taylor Cubic can tell me. <laughs> <laughs> so the Trojans get the ball back with 9.9 seconds left and a 43-14 to 14 lead. MacArthur will inbound it to Carson Tromke. Brings it up, gets across the timeline, down to the left wing. Short corner now, puts it back up to MacArthur. Three seconds left. Back to Carson Tromke. Three on the way. Got it at the buzzer. <laughs> Carson Tromke, the second three of the night. He's got eight points, and it's 46 to 14. The Trojans lead it after the third period. We'll be back with the fourth quarter right after this on True Country Radio, 1021 KZMC. Gary Superfoods local is more than what they sell. It's who they are. From weeknight dinner ideas to questions about the season's best produce, Gary Superfoods employees are there to help you with your grocery selections. Be sure to snatch up their weekly ad for weekly specials and coupons. And next time you're at Gary's, make sure you're signed up for their rewards. Gary Superfoods, Westview Plaza in McCook. This is HFRSN. True Country Radio 1021 KZMC. Trent Florham, Chase Shiplett back here with you, along with Autumn Quinn back at the studio, doing a fabulous job for us tonight. And Chase, this has been all Trojans tonight, and 
and uh, yeah. looking pretty good. Yeah, they're looking uh, looking really good, actually. You know, I mean, you got to give Juanita credit. They're fighting as hard as they can. You know, they're kind of in a down year, and yeah. But they don't give up, and they're pretty athletic out exactly. there. They got some good athletic. They're going to win some ball games this year. Yeah, Trojans have went deep into the bench. I mean, you know, Brody Wood got his first uh, action. Ben Hoberty his first varsity action tonight. Uh, you know, Austin Harris has played a lot tonight and had a pretty good ball game right now. I get one of my votes for uh, amateur bar and grill player of the game the way he's playing. Yeah, yeah, definitely. He's he's impressed me. Uh, so, you know, I haven't seen Jackson Tromke yet. I haven't seen Cohen Grindle yet, but we'll probably see them here in the fourth quarter. Uh, also, uh, Michael Mackey and Jaden Roof have suited up here tonight, guys. It didn't suit up last time. MacArthur to inbound. It gets it into Carson Tromke. He'll hand it back to MacArthur. Start the fourth quarter. Trojans going right to left across your radio dial. Will Taylor with it on the left wing. Now back up top to MacArthur. Right side to Tromke. Tromke's going to take the three. It's off the back of the rim. Won't go. Brody Wood at the rebound. He'll lay it up in the end. Easy basket for Brody Wood. His first basket of the season. 48-14. Robert Hanna with the ball now comes to the right side, gets it to Lawler down in the corner. He'll dribble back up to the wing, takes the three. It's off, no, it's oh, off wow. the glass and in. I thought it was going to go off the back of the rim. It hits the glass and goes in a three-pointer for Lawler. Lawler. Here it is, Will Taylor. He's going to take the three off the left side, won't go. Rebound comes down to number three, Jackson Luttrell for the Broncos. Hanna brings it up the floor, gets to the right wing. Gets to the free throw line, takes a shot, it's in. Robert Hanna with six for the Broncos, makes it 48 to 19. MacArthur up high right side, comes left side to Will Taylor. Taylor back up top to MacArthur. MacArthur goes inside to Brody Wood, back out to Taylor. Back to MacArthur, right side now to Tromke. Tromke for the three off the wing. Too hard and off the glass, and it's going to be ran down here by Zach MacArthur. Oh, they're going to say he stepped on the line. Good hustle by MacArthur there. It'll be Bronco basketball. 6.45 left in the ballgame. It's 48-19. to 19. And they get it into Hannah now. Crosses the timeline. Guarded by Carson Tromke. Going to go to the right side. Lob pass inside to Kinnicott. Nice pass. Shots up. Won't go. Rebound comes down to Lawler, and he loses the ball and hands it off to or gets it to Ben Hoberty. Up here it comes to Zach MacArthur now. Left wing. Going to have it blocked away. Runs it down. Gets it back to Carson Tromke. Right side up high. He'll work his way down to the wing. Goes back inside to Brody Wood at the elbow. Back up top to MacArthur. Now back to Carson Tromke. Skip pass inside to Brody Wood. Now to Will Taylor. His three's on the way. Can't get it to go. Wood fights for the rebound. Him and Hannah get tied up. We're going to have a jump ball. It'll be long to the Broncos. <clears throat> Trojans have hit three three-pointers tonight. Two by Derek Tromke. Or excuse me, four. Two by Carson Tromke also. Here's Hannah bringing it across the timeline. Middle of the floor comes right side to Duvell. Duvell's going to drive inside to the free line, kicks it back to Malcolm. He'll go down the right side, kicks it back out. Jackson the trail for three. Can't get it Air to go. Ball. Rebound by Zach McCarthy. Stepped out of bounds. Out of bounds yeah. <clears throat> Did a great job hustling down and getting the ball, but wasn't watching that right foot and just barely caught the line. Got to know where your feet are at. Referee was right there and made a good call. Malcolm to inbound it now. Malcolm looking around, trying to get in. Gets it into Luttrell in the middle of the floor. Puts a shot up. Got it. Jackson Luttrell with his first basket of the night. 48-21 now. MacArthur to Will Taylor. Taylor looking around. Gets it. Drives inside. As Ben Hoberty missed him. As looking around. Finally kicks it back out to Brody Wood. Gets it back out to MacArthur. MacArthur right side to Carson Tromke. Tromke loses the ball, wanted to throw it in, but Duvell gets the steal. Carson Tromke lost the ball there. Back up top, this is Malcolm for the Broncos. Working against Will Taylor. Throws it down inside, Hoberty knocks it away, but it's picked back up by Lawler. Back out to Jackson the trail. his three's on the way, he missed it. Rebound comes down to Zach MacArthur. MacArthur, down the left side of the lane, kicks it back out to Will Taylor. Thought about the three, drives inside instead, kicks it back out to Carson Tromke. Inside it goes to Brody with the block. He got a foul on Trell. Jackson the Trell picks up his third foul uh, for the Broncos. It's the sixth team foul. Carson Tromp get inbound underneath the Trojan basket on the far side. Box set. Screen across. Get it into Hoberty into the right corner. 
Fogarty back up top to MacArthur. Back to Carson Tromke down in the left right corner. Drives inside, and he's going to be fouled. He'll go to the line for a one-and-one one now. Is this going to be on Latrell, too? Uh, I believe it's on Duvel. It is. Duvel picks up his first foul. It'll be the 17th foul, and that'll send Carson Tromke to the line for a one-and-one. One. Trojans have struggled from the line tonight. See if Carson can get him started the right way here. He only shot four free throws last night. Didn't make any of them. Tromke's first one. Rolls around. Got the shooters rolling. It's in. He's got nine points. Derek Tromke leads the Trojans with 11. Dalton Wood has 10. And now Carson Tromke with nine. C.J. Feeney has seven. At six from Austin Harris also. Pretty balanced scoring across the board for the Trojans tonight. Carson misses a shot. Goes one for two. At the free throw line. Here comes up the floor is Raul Malcolm. Out to DeVille. Duell, DeVille hits the shot from the three-pointer from the left side. His first basket of the night. 49-24, your score. Trojans with the lead, 441. Left here in the ball game. MacArthur, top of the key. He's going to get to the free throw line. Kicks it out to Will Taylor on the left wing. Back up to MacArthur. MacArthur once again trying to get into Brody Wood. stocked away from Grant, and Grant Walker. Scoops it up. Lawler with it now. Down the floor, working against Brody Wood. Can't get the shot to go. Rebound comes down to Ben Hoverty. Out to Carson Tromke. Trojans quickly up the floor. Tromke drives inside. Gets down to the block. Can't make the shot. Hoverty with the rebound. Puts it up in the end. Ben Hoverty has six for the Trojans tonight. Grant Walker with the ball. Now we're going to have four new players coming in for the Trojans here and also one for the Broncos. Jutton's getting, or Juton's getting, Jutton's getting ready to come back in. Lawler with it. Free throw lines. Jumpers got it. Layden Lawler, I tell you what, I don't know why he's not starting. He's been on fire tonight. He's got nine points to lead the Broncos. 51-26. Will Taylor working against Duell. Kicks it back up top. MacArthur, left side now. Tromke tried to go inside, but a nice play by Jackson Luttrell. Now Hoberty trying to steal it back from him. It's on the floor. Ball's loose, and it's going to be a jump ball to belong to the Trojans. <laughs> Mark Hill Mackey, Jaden Roof, Jackson Tromke, and Cohen Grindle are all checking in for the Trojans. And staying on the floor will be Will Taylor. Yep. <clears throat> well, they might leave Hoberty out there with him, but they leave Will Taylor out there. Taylor and inbound, a box set with Roof and Mackey on the blocks. Trying to get it in. They find uh, Cohen Grindle. He throws it right to the hands of Greg Walker, though. Or, and Walker goes down the floor, puts it up in the end. Grant Walker with the basket. He's got eight for the Broncos. 51-28, your score now. Will Taylor will bring it up for the Trojans. It's to the top of the key, works to the right side. Cohen Grindle with it on the wing. Back up top to Mackey. Markel Mackey, spin move, kicks it over to Jackson Tromke. Back to Cohen Grindle. He loses the ball, picks it back up. Trying to find somebody. Dribble the ball, send. Nope, hands it off to Jackson Tromke on the right wing. Tromke. Gets it inside. This is Jaden Roof. Roof, spin move, can't do it. Loses the ball. It's picked up by Malcolm for the Broncos. 2.55 left in the ball game. It's 51 28. Broncos, or excuse me, Trojans with the lead. Down the floor goes Jutney. Jutney puts it in. Kyle Juton with his first basket. Will Taylor now with the ball, top of the key, working to the right side. Gets it to Cohen Grindle. Grindle looking for Jaden Roof. Can't get it to him. Pass over to Mikel Mackey at the top. Here's Will Taylor, three-pointer from the right side, way too long, picked up by Juton. 51-30, 21-point lead for the Trojans with 2.22 left in the ballgame. Broncos have the ball. Malcolm with the ball right side up high, goes back to Juton. Juton tried to go down the lane, puts it up, got it. He's got four points now for the Broncos. 2.05 left here in the game. Will Taylor, top of the key, he's going to drive inside. And what are they going to call here? They're going to call a foul. So Taylor will go to the line to shoot two. Fouls on number 15, Raul Malcolm, his second. 18 foul against the Broncos. Will Taylor to the free throw line with the Trojans having a 19-point lead and two minutes, two seconds left. And he misses the front end of the one-and-one. Rebound comes down to Lawler. Malcolm with an outright side, drives inside. 
Puts the layup up. Can't get it to go. Rebound comes down. It goes off Will Taylor and out of bounds. Lawler and Taylor were fighting for it. Taylor knocked it out of bounds. It'll be Bronco basketball underneath their own basket far side. Going to have a box set here. Get the screens. They're going to try to get it in. Finally finds Juton now, and Juton's going to be fouled by Jackson Tromke. Nice tackle, Jackson, but it's the wrong <laughs> sport there. So the Broncos will have the ball underneath their own basket far side once again. This is the fifth foul against the Trojans here in the second half. Walker will go out of the ball game. Javel checks back in. Trying to get it in. They find Juton. He puts a shot up and in. Kyle Juton's got six straight points for the Broncos. Makes it 51-34 at the minute 40 left here in the ballgame. Jackson Trompke down to Markel Mackey. Take the shot, son. Didn't do it. Goes it into Jaden Roof. He loses the ball. It's on the floor. Mackey scraps for it. Now Roof is going to get there, and now we're going to have a jump ball. I thought Jaden Roof had a pretty good position there. Number 14 just jumped on his back. That was Lawler. But it will belong to the Broncos on the jump ball. 51-34, your score. Trojans with the lead. 125 left here in the ball game. Number one, Gary Sutherland at number 44. Ashton Wheeler getting ready to check in for the Broncos. Lawler goes underneath, loses the ball out of bounds. It'll be Trojan basketball. Raul Malcolm will go out of the ball game, as will Jackson Luttrell. Mackey inbounds it to Taylor. 115 left in the game, 51-34. Trojans with the lead. They're going to improve their record to 2-0. Jackson Tromke for three. The lefty can't get it to go. Markel Mackey with a great save, but it went into the hands of number two, Michael DeVell for the Broncos. He's going to make a move. Goes inside against Jaden Roof. Shots up, can't get it to go. Ball's tipped around. The Broncos save it. Will Taylor has it for the Trojans. Down the floor he comes. Gets down inside to the block. Kicks it out. Cohen Grindle, three-pointer on the way. Can't get it to go. Rebound comes down to the Broncos, Layden Lawler. Here's Duvel. Gets it down here to number one. That's Graydon Sutherland. He drives in. He's going to be fouled by Roof. So Sutherland will go to the free throw line. Jaden Roof is going to be in the scorebooks now as he picks up his first foul. 16 foul on the Trojans. Graydon Sutherland, the freshman for the Broncos, at the free throw line to shoot two. First one's on the way. He missed it. Off the back of the rim. I'd like to thank some more of our sponsors. Number four, Aiden Action. Acton checking in. Along with number 11, Nathan Blackman for the Broncos. And Sutherland hits the second one. His first point of the night. 51-35, a 16-point Trojan lead with 35 seconds left in the ballgame. Trojans are going to go to 2-0. and The Broncos will fall to 0-2. Cohen Grindle with it on the right wing now. Looking back up top, finds Jackson Tromke. Back to Cohen Grindle. Grindle trying to drive inside, loses the ball, is knocked away, and it goes out of bounds off the Broncos. Ashton Wheeler knocks it away. It'll be Trojan basketball. Down on the baseline, about halfway out to the corner there. Will Taylor will inbound. We'll have everybody lined up down the free throw line on this on the far side there. Going to get it in. To get it in to Grindle. Grindle back to Will Taylor. Drives the baseline. Back to Cohen Grindle. Three on the way. Can't get it to go. Taylor gets a rebound. Will Taylor saves it. Kicks it back out to Cohen Grindle. Another three on the way. Off the rim. Can't get it to go. Four seconds left. The rebound comes down to Sutherland. He's going down the floor. Loses the ball. Mackey picks it up for the Trojans, and that's going to be the ball game. Mackey will get credit for the steal there. 51-35, your final score. The Trojans will get the victory. So we're going to take a break. We'll be back here with the Cabelli Physical Therapy postgame show right after this on True Country Radio, 102.1 KZMC. Vieira Wireless has the network built for you. With three times more towers and service that goes the extra mile when you're out in the open, at home, or work. Our customers tell us they joined Vieira to get the best service, coverage, and technology they need to keep their lives connected. Discover the carrier your neighbors are talking about. From the best prices on the latest devices to personalized service that can't be matched. Experience the Vieira difference at your local store today. 
If you have an appointment at a specialty clinic in North Platte or in Kearney, and if you're not sure how you're going to get there, Tri-Valley Health System Public Transportation is happy to transport passengers from within their normal service area to destinations outside their service area for specialty medical appointments or even for personal shopping. To schedule your ride Monday through Friday with Tri-Valley Public Transportation and to see if they service your area, call 308-697-1164. 697-1164. Tri-Valley Health System. First State Insurance in Cambridge, your hometown team. First State Insurance is your local resource in Nebraska for the best and most affordable personal, commercial, and farm insurance products. For insurance outside the box, talk to one of their local independent agents. Let First State Insurance be your first choice for insurance. Their agents work with the nation's top insurance providers. As a result, they can offer you more choices along with personalized service and the convenience of a nearby office. Call or stop by today, 308-697-3835. First State Insurance in Cambridge. It's not me, it's you. You never really knew me. I finally found someone that gets me. The list of breakup lines to end your banking relationship are limitless. The reality is, it's them, not you. You deserve a bank with someone who has your best interest at heart and gets to know you. First State Bank Community Bank is small enough to call you by your first name, yet large enough to offer the access and convenience of a big bank. So give them a call or stop by any of their locations in Barnum, Cambridge, Holbrook, Alma, or Stamford for a bank that truly gets you the hometown family radio sports network true country radio 1021 kzmc transform k shifts up back here with you along with autumn quint back at the studio doing a fabulous job back there tonight this is your cabelli physical therapy post game show cabelli physical therapy located in downtown cambridge specializes in surgical rehabilitation sports injuries and chronic pain Come in and ask about dry needling a powerful therapy intervention used to restore movement impairment and restore function they are committed to serving the area with high-quality and affordable health care, your hometown experts in pain management and rehabilitation. That's Cabelli Physical Therapy in downtown Cambridge. And we got Mr. Clay Shepard joining us here. He's up here quickly tonight. And we'll let him get the headset on, and we'll uh, visit with him here in just a second. So let Clay get the headset on. We'll talk with him here. And... Uh, as I said, I am Trent Florman. I'm joined now by Cambridge Trojan head coach Clay Shepard. And, Coach, you guys got a nice win tonight. Yeah, we did. You know, we, we brought good intensity, good focus in that first half. Um, we, we did what we needed to do. Um, obviously disappointed in the second half. Um, just weren't, weren't ready to play coming out of the break. Um, but, like I said, you know, we took care of business in the first half. And um, we if, if we had brought that for 32 minutes, I'd be really happy right now. How, how hard is it, though, to stay that focused? I mean, you, you come out. And then uh, I won't take anything away from Juanita Palisade, but you're up 19 to nothing. You got control of the game after the first quarter. How hard is it to stay focused? Yeah, I, it, it needs to be easier. We, we just have to do a better job of staying on the guys in practice about staying focused for two hours straight because um, that's what we need to do on uh, game nights. Um, and, you know, I, obviously our legs were, were probably a little tired after last night, and that's why it was important to jump on them early, which we did. Um, and so that, that was enough to carry us through that second half. I mean, you also went deep into the bench. Ben Hoberty, Brody Wood, a lot of them guys got their first action and, and played quite a bit for you in the second half. Yeah, they did. Um, th- those guys have to practice hard, and they, they need to be ready to go when we call on them because um, we, we can't play seven guys, you know, when we get into some of these, you know, like we have right now with three games and five-day stretch. Um, so we, we, we need those guys to be ready, um, probably a little more ready than they were tonight. But it, we, we just got to keep getting them there, okay? They, you know, it's it's yes. their first varsity action, so they, they'll come along. Um, they'll get better, and uh, they'll be ready to go. Somebody I was impressed with tonight, and, and you and I talked about him before the season started, was Austin Harris. Uh, he, he came out, he, he he got some key rebounds for you, puts up six points, you know, and, and just played some great defense, too. Yeah, he, he, he's been very impressive in, uh, you know, kind of in the preseason and then into these first two games. Um, kid kid, we know we can count on. Um, also a kid who just embraces whatever role you give him. You, you probably right. hear him from up here on the bench over there being vocal, being a leader. Um, we, we've been very pleased with him. And, yeah, like you said, he made some nice moves down there, had some nice finishes. Um, we, we really did a good job for the second night in a row um, of finishing inside, especially especially when we get right-handed layups. We, we don't need to talk about the left-handed layups <laughs> yet, but we're, we're doing a good job of finishing inside, and that's obviously our advantage, so we need to keep doing that. And uh, free throws tonight. You guys kind of struggled from the free throw line. Well, last night you were, I believe, 0 for 4 is, is what you were, and tonight you were just uh, 4 of 16 for 25% tonight. Yeah. Got to the free throw line, which has got to be a bonus. Now you just got to start making it. Yeah, we, we have to make those free throws. It, it's just a matter of, you know, calming ourselves down. Obviously, we're, we're pretty worked up. We just attacked the hoop, got fouled. Um, we, we just got to be able to calm down, settle in, um, and focus. And I, I think that was the big thing tonight. Obviously, we saw it in that second half. 
Um, we, we have to keep our focus for, for the whole game, right. especially when we get to that free throw line and knock them down. Well, Tuesday night you got the uh, Southern Valley Eagles coming to town. Uh, let's talk about them a little bit, what they have. I mean, uh, you know, they lost a very good senior class last year, so they're going to be on a rebuilding year. But talk to us a little bit about Southern Valley, what you know about them, and how you guys get that done. Yeah, obviously, their senior class probably one of the best in, I, I guess, I don't know their whole history, but probably the best, one of the best in school history. Um, so that's that's asking a lot to replace those guys. But they, they're going to play hard. Um, they have two kids who I actually coached this summer, uh, Camden Bowes and Mitch Wilson, who can both, you know, really fill it up. Um, the Bose kid can go win a game by himself, so we're, we're going to have to be locked in on him. Um, we're going to have to be ready for that assignment. He he's plays you know, kind of similar to Hannah and how he played tonight, um, but he also shoots that three really well um, and has a quick trigger. Um, like I said, M- Mitch Wilson, uh, Isaac McPhillamy, he's, he's lit us up the last two times we've played him, um, so we have to get a hand up on him. He, he's a pretty good shooter. Um, they're, you know, they're playing a little different style this year um, from what I've seen, but they're, they're going to be well coached. They're going to be fundamentally sound. Um, if, if we're not focused, you know, we like like that second half, we're, we're going to be in trouble. Um, but we're we're going to get a good good uh, weekend and then a good uh, Monday of practice and be ready to go on Tuesday. Well, coach, thanks for taking the time to come up here. Congratulations on starting the season two and zero, and good luck on Tuesday night. Thanks, Trent. That was Cambridge Trojan head coach Clay Shepard. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right here uh, back with the, more of your Curbelli Physical Therapy Show and have the game stats and also our Amateurs Bar and Grill Players of the Game. And it's all right here on True Country Radio, one zero two one KZMC. Problems with how your vehicle drives? Take it to Doyle Auto Repair, the area's alignment and suspension specialist. From the simple tire and oil change service to the most complex automotive diagnosis, you can rely on Doyle Auto Repair of McCook to fix it right. Make your appointment today. Call the professionals at Doyle Auto Repair, 308-345-4233. That's 345-4233. Or drive or tow your woe to Doyle Auto Repair at 105 West 8, McCook. Doyle Auto Repair. Gary Superfoods local is more than what they sell. It's who they are. From weeknight dinner ideas to questions about the season's best produce, Gary Superfoods employees are there to help you with your grocery selections. Be sure to snatch up their weekly ad for weekly specials and coupons. And next time you're at Gary's, make sure you're signed up for their rewards. Gary Superfoods, Westview Plaza in McCook. RSN, Southwest Nebraska Sleep Man. True Country Radio, 1021 KZMC. Tramp Lauren back here with you along with Chase Shiflett uh, here live from Cambridge High School where the Trojans have defeated the Broncos by a final score of 51 to 35. This is your Cabelli Physical Therapy post game show. Cabelli Physical Therapy, located in downtown Cambridge, specializes in surgical, re- surgical rehabilitation, sports injuries, and chronic pain. Come in and ask about dry needling, a powerful therapy intervention used to restore movement impairment and restore function. They are committed to serving the area with high quality and affordable health care. Your hometown experts in pain management and rehabilitation. That's Corbelli Physical Therapy in downtown Cambridge. Uh, we give you the game stats here. First of all, for the Juanita Palisade Broncos, Graydon Sutherland had one point. He was one of two from the free throw line. Michael DeVell with three points. Jackson Latrell with two. Kyle Juton with six. Layden Lawler had nine uh, Robert Hanna was six tonight. Grant Walker had eight. He was two of two from the free throw line. Robert Hanna was zero of two from the free throw line. Sorry about that. Uh, Thirty-five points put up by the Broncos. They went three of six from the charity stripe uh, for fifty percent there from them. Uh, then for the Trojans tonight. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to find a. Uh, Red Valley was in the lead starting the fourth quarter. Uh, excuse me, this is a final score now. Medicine Valley defeats Paxton in boys basketball by a final score of 51 to 31. So the Raiders go 2 and 0. Paxton beat the girls up there 43 to 40 in overtime. So Med Valley girls fall to 2 0 and 2 on the season. Uh, they will start the Cattle Trail tournament next week. Uh, stats for the Trojans here tonight. Carson Tromke had nine points. He was one of two from the free throw line. Will Taylor had no points. He was 0 of 1 from the free throw line. Ben Hoberty was 6. He was 0 of 1 from the free throw line. Uh, Derek Tromke had 11 points tonight. He was 0 of 2 from the free throw line. Zach MacArthur did not score. He went over 0 of 2 from the free throw line. Brody Wood had two points tonight. C.J. Feeney was 7. He was 1 of 4 from the charity stripe. Dalton Wood with 10. He was 2 of 4 from the free throw line. And Austin Harris had six points 
for the Trojans tonight. They go 4 of 16 from the free throw line, just 25%. Uh, Jason and I were talking off the air. Our Amateurs Bar and Grill players of the game, we're going to go with Carson Tromke. The sophomore had nine points, and it was one of two from the free throw line. Also had several steals tonight. J.C. just played an all-around good ball game. He did, you know, and he does a great job of, you know, managing the offense on the, you know, being the point guard and just bringing the ball up the floor. Whenever they get in a tight spot, they go back to him. You know, he's a premier ball handler for him, and he did just a great job of managing the game tonight. And another guy that did a great job coming off the bench tonight. We talked about him with Coach Shepard there, Austin Harris. He had six points tonight. He did a lot of stuff. I mean, a lot of it. It wasn't just six points. So it was a lot of he had some steals underneath. He had some great defensive stops underneath. Yeah, he's just uh, a presence in there. You know, I it, mean, a big kid that has great hands yes. and moves his feet. It's yeah, just. A, a rare specimen he he to might by. honestly have the best footwork of anybody on the team as far as the big guys go. I would not doubt that. So he does a great job out there. So Carson Tromke, Austin Harris are our boys, amateurs, bar and grill players of the game. For the girls tonight, um, we had uh, the uh, Downer and uh, Paige Clumpy. And Paige Clumpy, yep. Paige Clumpy, the leading scorer, 15 points. And Leah Downer came off the bench, got eight points for the Trojan girls tonight. The girls went at 53-43. The boys went at 51-35. So two wins for the Trojans. They both go 2-0, and and they will take on Southern Valley on Tuesday night. Amateurs Bar and Grill players of the game, once again, uh, Paige Clumpy, Leah Downer, and uh, Carson Tromke, and Austin Harris for the Trojans. Join good friends for good food at Amateurs Bar and Grill on the highway in Cambridge. We'll be back Tuesday night with more Trojan ba- basketball as a pre- Taco John's pregame show We'll start somewhere between 5.30 and 6, depending on how the JV games go. The girls' game is scheduled to start at 6 with boys' action to follow. Chase, any thoughts on the final thoughts on the last thing, on the games tonight? Yeah. You know, just two great performances by the Trojans. Yep. yep, two good performances by the Trojan boys and girls. Both, Like I said, both 2-0. and We're going to wrap things up here for all the folks at Hometown Family Radio, for Autumn Quint back at the station doing a fabulous job once again this evening, and for Chase Shiflett, my color guy. I'm Trent Florham saying thank you for listening to High School Basketball here on True Country Radio, 1021 KZMC. <laughs> The proceeding has been a presentation of the Hometown Family Radio Sports Network. Any use of this broadcast without written permission of Hometown Family Radio is prohibited. Coverage on the Hometown Family Radio Sports Network has been brought to you by Amateurs Bar and Grill, Freinig Truck and Trailer, Cambridge Body Shop and DLM Trailer Sales, Cambridge Supermarket, Channel Seeds, Andrew Carpenter, Coke Family Ministry, Crabelli Physical Therapy, Cross Creek Golf Links, Doyle Auto Repair in McCook, First State Bank of Cambridge, First State Insurance of Cambridge, Hogemeyer Seeds, Troy Wiestat, Honeyman Custom Harvesting, Lifetime Eye Care, Lockenauer Jones Mortuary, Mark's Pharmacy and Shirley Kay's Coffee Shop, Nebraska Corn Processing, River Valley Services, Southwest Farm and Auto, Stockman's Bank, Tri-Valley Health System, Tri-Valley Medical Foundation, Waypoint Bank of Cambridge, Western Select Genetics, Advanced Automotive Parts and Repair, Gary Superfoods, Hometown Agency, San Mangro Yard, Sontown Sun Dreams, Southwest Public Power District, Susie's Creative Stitches, TKO Pest Control, Walgren Supermarket, and Juanita Crossroads. Get a copy of tonight's game or replay in its entirety by visiting our on-demand archive page at hometownfamilyradio.com.